everybody. Right, welcome back to the Dwarf Time Does D&D. We had uh, some technical difficulties. Right, um, basically, basically we got every few minutes when we're recording, I bring up Audacity to check that it's still recording, and I must have pressed cancel instead of minimize, and it stopped recording. We did an entire hour we did session, entire thing. and it did Luckily, record. all that happened in that hour is that our party had a conversation with the Jade Wizard Bracken, and they talked about what they had found out, and basically, our heroes, when we've, we're have we here for Greenvale Bastion, we're looking for the Eye of Morkai, um, we've found out that it's tied to some um, key runes, um, and we managed to destroy one. Bracken said, oh cool, I managed to destroy <laughs> one too, and I had another one, but the Beastman stole it. So I've been waiting for the opportunity to come and get it back, and I've been following you guys, trying to um, keep the worst of the forest away from you guys, in hopes that you could, like, locate them. locate them or make an opportunity for me to come in and get them. Um, they searched the area. They found a two red potions that they don't know what they are. A green potion which they falsely read as a potion of leaping. <laughs> <laughs> and um, Darton is convinced that it will help him jump 10 feet in the air, but it won't. Um, <laughs> they found a... On the Cyclops, there was a purple, like, pendant. Um, like, literally a shard of, like, purple crystal. Um, which absorbs magical energies, but it can get too full and explode. So <laughs> Gideon has decided to put it in his bag of holding. No, no, no. Uh, I, a bag of bag, I got Gundrick's yeah. bag of holding, put it in that, and then put that bag of holding inside my bag of holding, so we have bag of holding exception. Bag exception. Yeah. Bag exception. And um, Lyra looted all the bodies, didn't find anything. In in the Shameless tent, they also found a like bird skull pendant kind of thing. Um, Gideon read it, finding that it helped him channel Arcana, but there was also something else there that he couldn't find. Bracken told him that it was a worthless piece of crap made by, like, beast or shamans and not to bother with it. Um, Darton buried the body of Gundrick and they had a nice little and goodbye. Like, I know and it didn't really, fucking record! Which I'm really sad that it didn't record because it was so touching. It oh. was very touching. I, I'm legitimately upset that it didn't record, yeah. actually. But if there's any episode that was going to go wrong, at least it was one yeah. that not We were saying, at least it didn't go wrong on so, like, a big reveal or something, or like, yeah. a, or like a new character entered the yeah. arena. So, uh, <laughs> we got that one out of the way. So, <laughs> so they have all had a chat with Bracken, and Bracken has told them that indeed the, um, the tower is tied to these four key rooms, and it seems that three of them have now been destroyed. They destroyed the one that's in the Cyclops' tent. Okay. Stop that, James! They destroyed the one that's in the, uh, in the Cyclops' tent. Um, and they need to find the last, the last key room. But um, Bracken has also told them that um, there is a curse on the tower, and those that can get past the displacer field that like, lets it teleport around, um, their soul is, their life essence is slowly sucked out of their bodies. So he's working on a spell, a potion, to um, get them through the curse. But sadly, it will need at least three vials of unicorn blood. And as a jade druid, he completely refuses to have anything to do with it. So, we join our heroes just after a day of resting. I'm really sorry about this, guys. It's my bad. Um, to be fair, if any, if any one of us was yeah. doing that, it, it, it could have happened to anyone. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, yeah, Brecken um, left just before everybody went to sleep. By the way, guys, sorry to interject, Pidge. You guys will probably hear a few things that you don't quite know what's going on. Because we've already had like an hour episode to talk about more yeah. stuff in detail. But that's so a, that's a gist of it. Yeah. But just just go with it. If we mention anything that's like a bit like you're like, well, when the fuck did that happen? Assume it happened in the episode that we didn't record yeah. by accident. I'm really sorry. Any questions? It would be impossible to just have the same conversation. I know it just wouldn't yeah. work the same. So we decided not to do it all again. So, just go with it, guys. So Lyra reminded everybody that. Um, some of the hunters said that they see blue glowing come from a, um, a waterfall near the river. Darton's pretty sure he knows where that is. And they also remembered finding some unicorn blood alongside the river a while back as well. Um, before everybody went to sleep, Bracken turned back into a lion and said he would keep the worst of the creatures away. And he also gave everybody, um, gave Gideon a jade whistle and said that if he blows that, um, Bracken will seek them out. And come back to them, preferably once they've destroyed the final key room. Um, so our heroes have just gone to sleep, they're in the Beastman camp, 
Um, Bracken's nowhere to be seen. We've had a lovely munch. We've had a lovely munch, and you all wake up. Um, as Gideon and Lyra wake up, um, you notice that. Um, just check, it's definitely recording. Yay! You notice that um, <laughs> Darton is already awake and saying his daily prayers. So can you draw a faith? Oh, two. For the love of God! So I've got eight points for the day. Artemis is not happy with you at the moment for some reason. I know, I've, cool. done, I've done stuff to please what her. What have you done? I've very good drink, she should be happy with me. <laughs> She's not happy because she called Gunchy a creature! Uh, All bit. living things! No, he's not a creature, he's a sentient being! That a, a point to so the you, love creature so that you, you guys had a whole day of resting in the camp because your like fight stops at like eight nine a.m. <laughs> so you had a whole day of rest. Went to bed pretty early. Woke up. So it's probably like eight a.m. Like, yeah, you yeah. didn't feel the need for a lion or anything. We just we feel like we've had a good rest. You've had a really good rest. Yeah. So you guys wake up and it's up to you where you go now. Um, you have your map. Don't to you the know? waterfall. Yes. Oh shit! Did you, bury, hang on, did you bury the map with Gundrick? No, we found Are you gonna have to exhume his we, we found we found the map we found the <laughs> no, map. He, he just put um, all of Gundrick's like dwarf and stuff with him, didn't he? Yeah, I found a map. I was like, Did you find a map? Bad, bad luck, bad That's luck. That's our map. Luck your dwarven friend was yeah, roughly accurate. Uh, however, I do believe we're not as close to the mountains as he suggested. You could have totally picked yourself up then. <laughs> uh, uh, whereabouts did you? I believe you found this uh, unicorn book. Um, it was uh, it was here. It was near the river. See where that crossing is? The crossing oh, of the right. river. We found some mud going on there as well. It was oh. very nasty business. It was a little plaster. Well, I can get us back to the river. Okay, um, let's do that. And then, depending on where we are, I, I suggest where we're, we're here. Please, we're here. We travel in a northeast direction towards the river. Okay. Excellent. Let us be on our way then. Um, by the way, Jay, at night you can probably work out that you're slightly to the west. Um, just from the position of the stars and stuff. It's not nighttime. No, but it was nighttime. Oh, right, okay. Just, so, I can, I'm pretty good at doing that. You're, you're pretty sure that you're like, just slightly to the west, the centre of the forest? Slightly to the west, oh, yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. So, yeah, so judging by, judging by where we went by the stars last night, I suggest we travel in a north and, northeast direction back towards the river. Okay. Let us away! Gideon doesn't have a piss in the bush. I've known these forests a long time, however, they always seem to surprise me. Can I have a pencil, guys? I don't have some pencil. Pencil. Can't believe we lost that fucking episode. Damn it. It was like an hour wasted. It wasn't wasted, it's just not good for people who were listening. So if we were west, north, east, it's, it's, it's not wasted for us, because we great. all know what happened. I know, but I just feel really shit on the guys listening. You, you don't really get to learn We're about sorry, guys. I know, no one's no one gets to learn like about Bracken or or um Oh sorry, yeah, you also know that Bracken is sent here for, by the Arcane Academy because the Arcane Academy often use this uh, the Rulic Forest um, as research on the animals and they get a lot of ingredients from here because it's so magically charged. Mm. But the tower appearance funnels a lot of the magic energies to it. So he hopes to find a way to make the tower just go forever. The, the tower also so, upsets like the fake creatures. Yeah, and it like upsets the balance. So um, he's tr he's come on behalf of the um, the Arcane Academy to try and just like get rid of the tower also once and for says. all. Mm. Also, he says. Uh, and I can't remember where we are, so you guys fill some time. Um, we were just off west of the forest, wasn't we? I know. I'm trying to find where you go then, because <laughs> it might be somewhere you've already been. If you go down in the woods today, you'll sure get a big surprise. So, um, it's Gideon, Lyra, and Darton, and a wizard that's disguised as so a lion. You guys walk along for like two miles. Nice. That's my daily recharge, by the way. Yes. Yeah, because we spent a whole day. Yeah, yeah. Um, the only one that hasn't is... Yeah, actually. Uh, everyone's house. Everyone's house, because you did it at dawn. Um, yeah. So you walk along for about two miles through pretty normal forest. And um, as you're walking, um, how, what formation do you walk? Do you walk like, just side by side? Just, just, side just, by just side. like a, just like a, a group. Yeah, okay. As much as like, we like side by side, yeah. yeah. As we the, are sat, <laughs> the forest, <laughs> the, the forest, not at all bad here. Like the, the ground's pretty solid. The roots aren't too high up. Um, and as you're walking, you keep hearing something behind you. It's like a, <laughs> but every time you turn around, 
you see nothing at all anywhere. Um, you occasionally see like a bush shake <laughs> or a branch bounce or something like that, but you just see it. And then like, as you turn around, it just goes, and then just <laughs> oh. um, Don't I, oh, it could be something horrible. Lyra and Darton, can you both make a willpower? Of course. Oh yep. God. Is that under your willpower? Uh, yes. Yeah, I passed that. Lyra. What? What? Lyra. No, Ew. definitely not. Lyra, you turn around as you hear this laughter and you're like, hmm, that's mm. weird. And as you turn back, both Gideon and Darton have turned into werewolves. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I've just broke the audio, you might want to check it. What's wrong, Lyra? <laughs> you look scared! Why, Lyra? Why? <laughs> Guys, Lyra, do a fear check. <laughs> What's your, what's your um, nerve? That's my nerve. That's your, that's, yeah, that's, that's oh, the one, the one. <laughs> you don't, you know. don't want to go off my nerve. Okay. My nerve happens to be... Lyra, are you scared? What? Six. And you got... Ten. ten. You feel a warm trickle go down your leg. Oh! oh! <laughs> oh! 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 I'm well. totally oh! pissed. And, oh, and, you're, and you're stunned. Um, you guys don't know any of this. You see, do see her turn around, look at him terrified, and, and then piss herself. And then you smell asparagus. I like pissy knickers. And, oh God. and um, suddenly you hear from a branch behind you two. You just hear. Oh God! <laughs> Can I do a creature craft to try and find out what the hell that was? No, you can't look. Yeah. You can't laugh. Off, off the sound. He can. He can from the noise. Yeah. Uh, I get seven, uh, three, seven, eight, nine, ten. Um, you hear a... You recognise the laugh as Goblin. Okay, oh. can I do a creature craft as well? Well, you have to see it to do a creature Did craft. You, yeah, James would see it. I, 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 oh, I, yeah, I, sorry, I, yeah, yeah, you can you can try and know the sound. Uh, well, creature craft, minus two. Come on, get an epic roll. Five, you, five, three. Have, you have no idea what it is. It just sounds like... We have goblins sound. around, people. Goblins? Ah, uh, Gundrick, he used to hate them so much. <laughs> I'm stunned for a Um, Larry, you need to do another fair check. <laughs> Six. Um, okay, you now one. curl up on a ball on the floor. I'm stuck crying in, in a pissy puddle. I'm stuck <laughs> crying in your own urine. <laughs> 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 um, can I do a uh, me, me, me and Darden are just like, what the fuck? Yeah. Why have you pissed yourself and now why are you in the fetal position? But to M's it sounds um, like, why did you piss yourself? And why are you in the fetal position? <laughs> Get up, Lyra! Stop being silly! <laughs> okay, <laughs> suddenly, suddenly, you, t- um, Gideon and Darton, you hear rustling coming from bushes on either side. And then you literally just see a flash run past you either direction. Oh, and you feel a dead. knife slice into the side of you. Oh! So Gideon, crit. Oh no, it's the fast <laughs> goblin. It's the fast duty goblin. Oh what no, not it's these little sods. Speedy goblin. Uh, what's your fortune? That's, that's a hit and a crit. Oh. Three. Come on. <laughs> so, don't four, let it kill me. Two, three, four, five, six, eight damage. This knife slips into your side and you see you don't even see the creature and just literally see a like a it's like it's like, it's like, like what the, the fuck was that then just it, it's like the yeah, flash when you see a white flash go past oh. and then the same thing happens to what Darton uh, what's your fortitude you, Darton? what was that? minus uh, seven eleven um, you feel a knife go into your side I don't get to dodge you do I? no you can't see it come in yeah. for two damage two. you then hear from coming on the tree branch behind you ah! Goblins having fun. So is it our turn? Uh, yeah. Why do you do a fear check? Um, you will when it's your turn. Yeah. Gideon is going to g- g- going to go to um, uh, Dar- Darton. Get down! And Gideon's going to do an arcade pulse, like boom, out of him to see if he can just knock anything away or knock anything off balance. You would hit Darton on Lyra. That's, that's why I said get down. It's a pulse. It doesn't matter. It's, it's just a pulse away you from don't you. Don't think it's you keep thinking it's a wave, like like a beam of like no. black. Power. I don't think I don't have anything that would help in this situation. My voice is really high then for some reason. I don't um, know why. 
Hang on, let me consult my spells. Why don't you ready yourself? Oh, fuck it, I'm just gonna do Ice Storm. My, my other one. heading both as well. Yeah, but it's not gonna cause that much damage. Thanks, man. Okay. Oh, fuck, fine, I won't do Ice Storm then. Fuck it. What would you suggest I do, Lyra? Ready yourself when you see something to... It's too fast, I'm not gonna be able to do a ready action against Armor Pidge. Um, possibly if you can pass a perception check. Okay, fine. I'm going. I'm going to ready um, arcane blast. If what happens? If something like tries to like pssing, pass me again. Can, can I do a perception check? To see if I can see it, and then do a creature craft to see if I know what it is. That'd be a turn, but yeah. Well, because I might be able to find out weakness for it. Though. Okay. Perception. So. Perception. Five of five. Ten. You notice that on a branch, um, quite a few feet away, probably like I don't know, like. 12 feet away, like probably about 9 feet off the ground, there is a goblin um, in a cloak of black feathers with a deer skull helmet and a staff with a little, um, like loads of bird skulls like glued to it. And he's just going, <laughs> just dancing back and forth. Okay, they're gonna do a creature craft to see what it is. Oh, yep. oh, you can shoot it. Oh, you can shoot oh yeah, free action to draw a ball and then shoot it. It. Knock it off its fucking perch. Yeah, but if I find out what you have your bow out. Why would you want to know its no. weakness? It's an action to draw a bow. If I know what it is, I can find out its weakness, and then if we find out its fire, it's, it's an action to get a bow out. I'll try. I'll, I'll find out what it is. Okay. Pitch grab check. Uh, Eighteen out three. You know that this is a forest goblin shaman. They are tricksy little bastards. They generally have. Um, they have tricks that kind of. Make you Hello, confused or fight yourself. It's like as illusion to it actually magic. get into a fight itself. Um, it has no known weakness other than it's a goblin. Everything's its weakness. <laughs> <laughs> um, normally they travel in groups or are leaders of like other goblins, and it's really weird to see one on its own. Which is basically things that attack you. Yeah, basically things that just went rapid. Um, yeah, and that's your turn, yeah. Lyra. Fair check. Yeah, of course. You have overcome your fear. So you stand up and you stare at these two werewolves on either side of you. What do you want to do? Lyra, what are you talking at? Lyra, it's an illusion! It's an illusion, we're not really werewolves! I'm gonna attack them. I, do, I don't know what We're talking, we're saying we're not really werewolves! You don't know this, you just see I me know, call that, and yeah. stand up and look at you like I can't uh, you, oh, oh, you see, oh, oh, you yeah, see yeah, the werewolves. Yeah. Pointing over there, there's a goblin in the trees. You what? Would you not think it's weird that these werewolves are attacking you and we're just like talking? I think she'd be a bit too panicked to realise. So, oh, they're talking to me! Stop! No! Get away! Get away! It's like, stop it! <laughs> what do you want to do? Is there a bush or anything nearby? There's bushes all. I would go hide in a bush. <laughs> no, I would go hide in a bush. You go and jump in a bush, okay? Okay. Sorry. Well, she will just be like. You do that and they're like, what the fuck? <laughs> What's going on? And I'm like, ah! so like, oh, that shaman, so. she freezes, pisses herself, curls up, jumps in a box. What the fuck's going on? <laughs> the goblin tricks the starts going, ha 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 ha! And he points his um, staff towards um, Darton, and the, all the eyes of the birds glow purple. Uh, resist. Uh, well, power 15, so is it under 15? Under 15. You are unaffected. Wow, you Do I kind of know, the, the, see the goblin as well? Because Dart have obviously pointed. Yeah, yeah. Right, Dart! Well, no, you wouldn't, because you're looking all around getting ready to use this spell on what's up there. Oh, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Gideon, you see the bushes rustle as something flies towards you. Hey, you're going to do an Right, first you're going to do a perception check to see if you can tell what direction it's coming from. Oh. You. No, it, no. It, it gets to you before you even notice <laughs> For it. Fuck's sake. Um, you need some sort of like slow time spell. Oh, that'd be amazing. Yeah, Paige doesn't do time spells. It's so confusing to do in game. <laughs> um, apart from that, like, pocket withdrawal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What? If you do it, it's just a bonus to your perception. Okay, so, um, <laughs> the thing flies past you, slides sli into you twice because it critted you last time. Oh, balls. Don't let it kill me. And hits you for four, six. What health are you on? I've still got. Um, I'm, we're on full health, so. I'm on 31. And then one, one zooms past Darton. So, 30, 30, 25. Can I do a perception um, check if it's coming at me? No. no you You're looking at the tricks there. Alright. Oh, uh, what is your fortitude then? 11. It hits twice. Oh, nice. Wow. Um, max damage, you take uh, 8. 8. 
and then they disappear off again. Someone's funny. All the time, this goblin stricture is just hissing himself, laughing. You said they were leaders, right? They, the they are generally either lackeys to like a goblin warlord, or they are leaders amongst lesser goblins. Sometimes they have a coven. Um, it's very rare to see one in its own. Who says it? Uh, your guys. Okay, Gideon is going to be like, these things are like all over the place. Gideon is going to get his staff of the on, on the mantle, hold it high above his head, and slam it into the ground and cast Earthara and make an earthquake just erupt. It goes in a line. Oh, can I not, can I not make no. it go in a circle? If you do it in a line towards where the goblin is. Oh, you better, like, fire something at it. If you got. How, how far did it say it comes out? 20 feet. You could do it towards the tree that the goblin's in. <laughs> well, if it's I made the tree shake like shit. Knock them off the tree. That one, that's it's a waste it's of a daily though, really. Isn't it? <coughs> yeah, um, it is. Fire something at it. Yeah, fuck it. Do, do I see the goblin? Yeah, you fire fire okay, balls, yeah, isn't Yeah, Gideon's gonna launch a fireball at the goblin. And the three? And eleven. Pl- no, three plus. No, I misses completely. Okay, next little fireball. Twenty! Oh, that does. Boom! Smacks him. I need to say more fire. Oh, He's wait, on no. fire as well. 2d6. Yeah. Plus, wait, what's your arcana? Plus ten. ten. But you get plus one anyway, so plus 2d6 so plus, plus, plus twenty-two. Uh, uh, twenty-two, <laughs> three, four, five, twenty-six. Twenty-six. Nice. It's bloodied. You smack him in the face and he goes, Ow! Is on fire? Mm, yes. On he's 20, on fire. Yeah. Um, yeah, so he's on fire. What the hell? No, and he falls out of the tree on the <laughs> <laughs> no, well, then he the no, he actually doesn't fall out of the tree. Oh. <laughs> but he's like, he's like really annoyed because like he's got a cloak of crow feathers and he's like looking at it as it as fire slowly burns up towards him. And he's like, <laughs> <laughs> not realizing that it's fanning the flames. Yeah. Um, so whilst he's doing that, obviously he's not going to do anything else. Does yeah, I'm gonna. I've got two actions there, so. <clears throat> Usually drawing your bow would take all your actions at one tip. So no, it takes an action to draw a weapon. So quick draw, effect three actions to draw a bow. Quick draw means you can draw Quick draw just means you can arrow. draw an arrow without taking Oh, okay, so draw my yeah. bow, quick okay. draw means I can get an arrow out. You can draw your bow and fire this turn. Yeah, yeah, well, I'll do that then at the shame. Okay. Whereas if you didn't have to draw, you would have to draw your bow and then 14? Definitely. Yeah. Fire! I mean, uh, that's plus one. <laughs> So, free. The arrow grazes his knee. He starts hopping up and down <laughs> on one foot on a branch on fire. <laughs> um, Lyra, can you do a um, nerve check for me? Is, is his spell still affecting <clears throat> even though he's on fire? No, he would have lost concentration, so you. You are unaffected, but you don't know that you're unaffected because you're not looking at him. Yes, you can. So you, you, you use your first God, use, the werewolves. use your first action to peek your head out. You notice that these two aren't werewolves at all. And um, there's just a yellow puddle between them. And, they, uh, <laughs> and you see a burning goblin in a tree that's going. Every arrow in my You have one more action. Can I draw my bow and fire? Or? Yeah, I'll take an action to draw your bow. Mm, okay, then. To get out your bow, I mean. Oh, okay, I'll ask that later. Um, Okay, I guess I will just run over to Gideon and just be like, Gideon, where did the werewolves go? You, you, there were no werewolves. Can, what are you talking you about? You can draw crazy a weapon elf. while you're running over. Yeah, I'll drop my drawing. You draw your two swords running over. The dance will go. That dance will go. Werewolves, where? Where? Here, right here, exactly where you two were stood for some reason. Okay, and then as you're talking, what? as you're talking, <laughs> makes no sense. The bushes begin to rustle, and something flies past Gideon. Fucking hell! Hits him twice. Oh. Stop trying to stop getting me! <laughs> you pick on one thing until it dies. Me and him as well. Three, four, five, what, four, five, seven damage to Gideon. Oh fuck, I don't want to die by goblins! And then it flies past Darton, uh, hits him once. twice again. Twice, Jesus. What's your fortitude? It's like 15. 11. Yeah, it's really good. It gets max damage again for another eight. Jesus. The goblin puts himself out. Um, that's all he does. No, he buzzes himself. Am, I am now bloodied, so I'm gonna heal myself. He buzzes himself out and then tries his best to cast the spell. I'm gonna give him my ears for this. He's basically dancing to try and cast the spell in hopes to also put out the fire. <laughs> so you put out the fire and cast the spell? Yeah. Go. Go. Um, oh, cast on a oh, 19. For fuck's sake. Oh. oh. There suddenly becomes two of him. 
Oh, oh crap. One of them's fake one. Okay. Um, I'm just going to do something. Okay. I'm not as worried about that goblin. I'm not worried about the ones that keep, keep running up. Yeah, it's same Can't okay. stop them. Your guys go. I want to heal. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna use uh, healing touch on myself for free. Touch yourself. Seven six <laughs> five. Yeah, I'm gonna heal myself for D twenty. Seventeen. Seventeen. Nice. Artemis likes you touching <laughs> yourself. <laughs> Got twenty nine. Okay, I'm going to then. Wait, oh, is he gonna finish his thing? No, right. so that was one action. Uh, Maybe want to heal a certain other person. The second action is going to... Oh god no, because there's two of them now. So I don't know which one I'm shooting at. We got a 50-50! <laughs> True. Yeah, he rolled really low on the amount of copies of his guns. Uh, who's on what health? Left or right, pick it. No, I mean, um, who's on what health? Um, Lyra looks pretty much fine, Gideon I'm is like holding his 19. chest. 19, okay, yeah. I'll, like I'll, put my, I'll, put my hand, I'll put my hand on Gideon and use... Uh, what are we on? 5, 4, 3, yeah, 2. Me. That'll leave me with one heal left. Okay. Uh, Gideon, you can heal yourself. Yeah, okay. Yeah, you're fine. 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 Yeah, so I uh, yeah I'll put my hand on Gideon and use Artemis' uh, touch again. So five, four, three, two. Do you know what? I'm happy to be touched up by Artemis. Well, you get a one now. <laughs> Don't get a one. Five. Five. Heal me for five. Nineteen, twenty-one, twenty-four. Lyra. Oh, I've got one action uh, left. Though. Oh no, two. Got no, no, yeah, yeah, I didn't. I didn't. Do I see anything like dart out? Uh, You've not seen them. Oh, oh yeah. Is it my turn? Yes. It is your turn, yeah. Oh, it is your turn. Okay, I'm gonna. It's a 50 50 whether I hit the goblin and I catch another fireball at it. Uh, which one? Left or right? Left or right. Oh, I, I was thought I was going to randomise. You can randomise if you want, but you would specifically shoot at one of them. Which one? Left or right? Oh, right. Okay. Which one do you want to hit? Uh, I'll go for the right one. Oh. Okay. It's 18. Um, your fireball flies through and it vanishes. Okay, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to find another fireball at the other one then. It's eight. eight <laughs> you miss. Oh, Dude, this <laughs> goblin's got epic fortitude. What the fuck? How has a goblin got so much fortitude? You only get like plus three, remember? Eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah. They've got an average of fourteen, I think. Goblins. Fourteen is human. Goblins are slightly weaker. Twelve is about goblins. Yeah. So I've seen oh, it. Dart out and attack these two, right? You've literally just seen some blurs fly past and get in and be like, Ugh! Okay, so can I ready myself to attack the things that come out? Yeah. Just like he did. Yep, I'll do that. Okay. Um. So the goblin trickster begins to chant again. Cast a spell, and there becomes five of him. Oh, oh my god! I'm just gonna. I was gonna set the branch that he's out on fire. Combust the tree? Know. Yeah. He'd yeah. be like, ah! <laughs> set the tree on fire, and he'd be like, ah, no! No, he literally got a tree to stand on. <laughs> I'm just trying to mark which one's which, so you know how many are left. Three. Four. four yeah, there's, there's five of them. I've already randomised which one he is. Okay. Um, the things appear out of the uh, thing. Agility check to see if you can notice. The things appear out of the thing. <laughs> the blurs appear out of the bushes nearby. Agility. Perception. Two. You don't see it. Oh, I so see him. <laughs> you didn't ready an action. Oh, I didn't. Oh, yeah, she yeah. read it. Why was I just four? I don't see him. You got a two. Damn it. <laughs> It flies past and stabs Gideon. Uh, I, I, reckon, I reckon you two should do it. I got one. Please say it falls over. It stabs you once for three, and then trips over and lands flat, face first behind you. And you see that it's a goblinoid creature with um, elven pointed ears. Um, it doesn't have the big pointy nose of a goblin. It's got like a stubby nose, pitch black eyes. Massive feet and two um, like daggers made out of carved bone. Well, like, will these fall in front of him? Do I get a swing at him? No, you can't. Can I like try and curb stomp this little bastard? Maybe. Not your turn. Um, yet. Not your turn yet. And the other one flies at Darton. Hits him twice. Balls. Right. So you can get max damage for a third time in a row. Almost. Three, four, seven damage to you. And he flies past. Here you go, guys. Okay. Oh, you go first, don't you? Yeah, I reckon I should ready an action, ready, ready to deal with these fast ones, and you deal with the goblins. Well, there's one. I'm gonna because I've got a good perception, so I'm very, I'm very good at finding things. Well, there's one so. on the floor near me. I'm just gonna electrocute it to death. Okay. Okay. So, um, what's it? Am I? It's on the floor, not moving. I'm gonna get a bonus to it. I didn't say it's not moving. Well, it's still far, far, far in the space. It doesn't mean it's not moving. <laughs> okay. Well, it's on the floor. So, uh, sparks. 
19. You hit it good. Boom! Shocks it as well. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um. Oh, oh shit, son! Six, six, seven, six, seven, six, seventeen. Seventeen damage, and it's stunned for. No, it's only one. You got sixteen. Oh, it's a stun for one turn. Eighteen. 17. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna then do another sparks at it, and then get a nineteen. Okay. So that's that's stunned for D three. And dead. Uh, oh, six. Oh, oh, it's, it's, it fell over just like, oh, you should not have done that. Okay, like, oh. yeah, you, it, it's back crackles and it just like becomes a charred mess. <laughs> you little um, bastard. Okay. I got you good. You bastard. Um, I'm going to ready, for, just like dark, I'm going to ready for when that other one comes out. You're just going to ready to attack the other one. Yeah. yeah. Uh, do I ready my bow or do you think I should shoot at the uh, goblin in the tree? Or oh, one of the goblins in the tree? I've got two actions, so I'm probably better just ready to shoot. Just aim, just aim at what? It doesn't even mind if you waste your arrows, because it'll at least it'll get rid of some of the things. Yeah, but he just keeps casting it, and then it's more. He must be able to cast infinite on the You don't know. You don't know? You might be able to tell which one it is if you get a good perception. You might be able to like notice something slightly off. Would that be an action? Yeah, yeah. No, I'll try to like really concentrate. I'll on try one percent. I'll try one perception check. Then. I get 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Yeah, I got one. I got them. Got the maximum. You like, notice one. that the two furthest to the right are slightly see through. Two furthest to the right. There's enough. five of them. The three, three to the left look perfectly normal, but the two furthest to the right are slightly. I'll see-through. shoot at the one that's in the middle of the two free one. Of the three. Okay. So. Uh, I get a nine. Your arrow points. flies through him and he vanishes. So I know that there's one on the far left and one in the, the, the right of that. Yep. So it's, it's possible two. Is it left yep. you two? Lara? I'm Are you ready? ready. Are you ready? Yeah. So there's two possible two that you can shoot. One on the far left or one before the two there. Okay. On the right. Okay, so um, the four goblins that are up on the... Um, right, two, right. On the... Um, on the branch, start dancing around, and two of them jump down. I'm gonna randomize which two they are. One, two, three, four. So the fourth and the second jump down onto the ground. So those two. So one of the ones on the right hand side jumps down, the ones that he thought was clear. You two don't know that. And one of the other ones jumped down, there's two still on there. And they all simultaneously put their staff out towards um, Dartum. Resistance check, please. Oh, no, no, I don't resist that one, I don't think. You're stunned oh, for two rounds. 15. Oh, no. You, your, <laughs> your head begins swimming with colour and laughing goblin faces, and you're just like, what the shit, did I take some crazy berries? <laughs> <laughs> um, and suddenly the bushes around you begin to rustle. Lyra, perception check. Come on. Yeah, that's good. What's your perception? Oh, you see it come in. Yeah. Now let's do a dex check to see if you're fast enough to hit it. <laughs> Bro. Yeah. 12, 11. You'd see it coming. So, um, I can so you can swing at it. Yay! 16 out of 7. You hit it twice, Yay. but oh. it has dodge. It has a special rule. It has triple dodge. Oh. It dodges this. Um, but it uses all of its attacks to just flip out of the way and do one. <laughs> Basically, it like starts charging towards Gideon. Lyra steps in the way and swinging the swords out of it, and it like does a flip over Lyra and goes ah, and just does one. <laughs> um, you go, guys. James. And yeah, James is stunned for two turns. Oh, is it? Okay, yeah. so it's my go. So there's two two goblin shamans running towards me. No, no, there's two that jump down off the tree. They're not running anywhere. Okay, so and there's two still up on the tree. Hang on. So. I need to know, I need to work out which ones okay. which ones have jumped down. So no. h- here's a tree. One that's jumped down needs to be like Hobbiton. So, we don't know there's that. Th- how many was there on the tree? No, no, right. There was five. There was one, two, three, four, five. He shot the middle one and it died. This one jumped down to here, and so did this one. So okay. There's two on the branch and there's two on the I'm going to shoot the one on the far right. Far, far right. Here you go. Okay. With a fireball. All right. Oh. Oh, okay. oh dear. <laughs> Twelve. The fireball flies through and it vanishes. Okay, I'm going to shoot the one on the far left then. 14. You hit it and it conflagrates and all of the illusions vanish. Boom! How much damage? Oh, it's, it's dead. It had two HP. Yes! Yeah! <laughs> Take Boom! that, you little goblin motherfucker! 
Um, and it's burn your ass up, bitch! Wow, you seem to hate goblins just as much as Guntry did. <laughs> when he died, a little in. bit of his spirit went into me, and I, yeah. Lara. That's just a pain, right? It's because he's a goblin shaman. It's I don't like goblins with magic. Right. Like, yeah, yeah, there's there's magic magic that that there's there's challenge just, my own. Guys, go on, Lara, do you want to do anything? You just see Gideon blow this goblin up. It just explodes. Dan's just like, oh. Like, right. bits of him just fly for miles around. <laughs> You can. You can ready overwhelm. I'm ready overwhelmed. Okay. So, it. Do a perception check. Okay. Nine. No, you don't notice it. It actually leaps out of a tree above you guys Shit. And, and backstabs Gideon. Oh, oh no! Uh, do a perception check to see if you can see it in time. Actually. No. No. Backstabs you. Hits you twice. Just four times damage. Oh balls. Watch me die now, I'm a fucking goblin. What do you want? 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Oh, oh I, I will, shit! I will Jumps on his back, sinks two daggers. 12 minus, minus 21 minus 13. Yeah. Still there. Yeah. Well, 21 it. minus 13. It's kind of saying something in a language you don't, you don't really? understand. Oh, I've got like, 8 it, health left. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna have to try and heal you when I'm not stunned. Not stunned. <laughs> That's dazed. I'm dazed That's for another it. turn, so. It's my, it's, oh, well, I can't do it. Your turn. Dad's dazed. Gideon. It, what? You've got this thing on your back stabbing. Oh, it's on, it on my back. It's on your back stabbing can at I you. Can I fucking grab this little cunt? You can try. Grab it. Uh, we'll, it. it. we'll do an opposed agility check. Wow, oh, God, so this, gonna be this is going to work. <laughs> That's a ten. It just flips off your back before you can grab it. And and it like kicks you as it flips back, which would knock you down, but your robes are just like, no. <laughs> so it flips off and lands between you and Lyra. Can I, can I turn around like sparks? Yeah, Lyra did just landed Lyra stationary. Lyra the thingy, so can she oh, Yeah, but it didn't come from where she was. 11. Oh, yeah. So 11, 12, 13, 14. Oh, come on, it's just done a thing. It yeah. can't. It's the flash. <laughs> <laughs> it flips out the way of it on 17. Oh, I should have done a fucking AOE. I should have done flames. So you would dodge you roll 3d20 if any of them beat that score. Don't do that the way. Oh, that is sweet. You need to learn that. We need to learn you that. You can't learn it. Oh. You'd have okay. to have blinding speed cast on you. Yeah. I'm going to swing at it. <laughs> sweet. Swing at it. Swing at it. 17 and 13. Triple dodge. Yes! You hit it. Hey! Yes. Yes. Twice. You managed to hit the fucker. Three and five. So, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. You slice one of its ears off and it goes, ah! And can I attack it again? Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Two and a 15. 15, right? 15 is your highest. Um, the two actually hits. But it dodges them both. Is that all your guys' turns? Yep. Darton. Oh, I, was, I, I was froze, so. Yeah, Darton, you come back to normal and see that the branch the goblin was on is on fire and the goblin's not there. It's like, whoa, what happened? <laughs> the um, creature just leaps up at Gideon and starts stabbing Fucking at him. Fucking hell! Emma, smack it out You the killed way. his brother! Good! <laughs> <laughs> Why is it not, it's not three daggers? Two daggers. I um, hit you twice. Uh, I'm dead. You are dead. No, 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 no. Three, four, five, six. Oh, I've got two oh HP God. left! I'm so gonna have to use my last. So, so it's like on the ground, just slicing into Gideon. It says it. Gideon! Your guys go. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna heal Gideon with my last face. Yay! 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 Already? Already? So I've got zero now. Uh, yeah, that that was for D10. That's what happens when you're like a two on your face. It's D10 this one. D10 now. I only had enough face points first. Please get a high number. Nine. Yes. Nine. You heal him for nine. nine. Ten, eleven. Oh, Gideon, because it's on the floor again. Yeah, oh, yes. Right. Uh, yeah, I have an reaction, and the other action is I'm going to. Well, I can't see the goblin now. It's right, off, isn't it? No, it's, like, it's, it's just stood there. It's given up with the hit and run thing. Oh, right. You killed my brother. I'm going to kill you. I'll, I'll, I'll try and shoot them. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't see I, 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 I was going to say, I was going to say, I know, but yeah. He fucking hits it. But triple dodge. Yeah, On a free. Dodge is Yeah. Just like. He like stood there and the arrow comes there and he just goes and just moves that way and stands exactly where he was. And he goes, nin, 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 nin. Is, is it my turn? Yeah, it's okay. Gideon's gonna cast Hold Person. Okay. Easy. With an evil rage look in his eye. Resistance. Oh, I just failed. Yes! <laughs> so is he just like, <laughs> He like puts his arms away to dodge in a casting fashion, his legs don't move and he's like, <laughs> oh. 
<laughs> that Gideon with an evil glint in his eye, now he's his whole person, is going to cast um, sparks on it. Okay. So 9, 10, 11. This thing can't move. Um, so do how long it's held for, sorry. It can't oh, move. It can't do D3. It's D3, I think. Look on your spell. Yeah! Held yeah. yeah. for three turns. Do we use spells? I don't know. Three, three turn. It and is D3. It's D3. I think it's D3. How many D3 plus one, then? Hold person. Hold. Whole person. D3 rounds. D3 rounds. Yep. Sweet. Yep. So I've hit it as well. Yep. D6 plus 10. Uh, 14. 10. No. 14. Yeah. Yeah. Do you kill it? No. My turn! Smash it! Arms off them. I just brought that tin. So so I saved you so you could fuck it up. Yeah, cheers, <laughs> cheers. High five, buddy. High five. 12 and a 9. Smacks it. Ooh, 43. Um, okay, so Gideon holds it in place. It's like. Ow! And then Ow, lightning fuck. bolt blasts its arm off and it's like, ow! And then the sword cleaves its head off and it Woo! flies off. Woo! Yeah! You'll get, two, you'll get 2 XP. 2 XP. I'm just going to the loop. <laughs> Where's my XP? Right, okay, so now this thing is dead, Gideon is going to go over to it, to its corpse, and Gideon is just going to... Stomp just on its car. stomp it. Just stomp and stomp and stomp and stomp and fucking stomp on it until its body <laughs> is like a mush. Uh, Gideon. Gideon's then gonna go over to where its head like uh, fell off, and, and Gideon's gonna stomp on its head and just keep curb stomping it wow. until its brains are running all over the place and its skull is just mush. He's yeah. then gonna go over to its brother and he's gonna stomp that one again into mush. Stomp it, stomp it, stomp it. He's then gonna go over to its head again. Its head, oh, he just, he just died. Yeah. And then Gideon is going to um, get it, like whip his tackle out and take a massive Aww. piss all over the corpses of these two fucking goblins. Gideon. Because they're fucking cunts. So, though we may have to have killed them, there's no need to disrespect them. Oh, there is every need to disrespect them. Are you sure you were not a dwarf in your past life? Darton, you are completely fucking offended by this. Like, you want to go and punch him because he's done it. There's these things that they killed me! Yeah, we're out of combat now. Yeah, yeah. I'll turn his staff into a snake. It exploded. Oh, it's giving his staff. Yeah, it's just in his hand. You don't have any faith ones left. I just have to use them outside of combat. Bastard. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you always have to use faith ones. Sorry, I am not, I'm, not, I'm not very pleased. Dude, okay. these things just tried to kill you and me. We, we had no choice but to oh. kill them. If they were peaceful creatures, would you do the same? No. They were they were not peaceful, dude. They fucking exactly. We had no choice but to kill them. That does no warrant disrespecting them. You I'm sorry. It is my teachings and my way of advice. My apologies, my friend. That is why you're not a priest. <laughs> yes, I'm a fucking powerful, vengeful wizard. These things attack me. I'm gonna fucking take revenge on them. They're Guys. clearly evil, fay creatures. Atomus, Atomus, forgive him. That's why I want to know. Gods. Atomus, forgive him. One day I may be able to teach this. Put, uh, now, now, you can, to respect now you can see them properly, you can tell that these are quicklings. Um, and they are malevolent, aren't they? It, mm, they're kind of like trickstery guys. Mischievous. They're, they're not necessarily deadly on their own, they kind of just hire themselves out to other creatures as like assassin type things. Um, but they, they, they're they just like super fast little like ninja, ninja goblinoid uh, things. They like, aren't actually goblins. I'm gonna use healing Even though so they look like them. Six, seven, nine, ten. You feel right. ten? So, yeah, 30, 32, I, yeah. I'm fully prepared to punch you if you turn my staff into a snake and it doesn't turn back. Then you no, I, I can turn it back whenever I want. we won't be playing this anymore. <laughs> well, Dave, there you go. You can end b and <laughs> I have the power! <laughs> so I've got three left. Seriously? I'm <laughs> deadly serious. So am I. You don't have to punch him, people. If you hit anybody or break my table again, you're banned from b and <laughs> Throw me a new table, motherfucker. So, um, so yeah, Gideon has just turned the remnants of these quicklings yeah. into mush. Um, I'm off for the time. like walked begin. off into a corner with a really like gruff look on his face, he's like, Don't and he's just like healing up. Thing. So, does anybody else want to heal up or anything? I am yeah, I'm gonna to use two healing that. surges. Where did the werewolves? Go? Oh hell yeah! Back to Six, full. twelve. Back to full health again. Eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 20, 20, 30, 32. I've got 30, 31. 31. <laughs> you used two healing surges. Yeah. yeah. 31 out of 38, that's not bad. Out of, one, out of two healing surges. That's pretty damn good. So how many have you got left? Uh, one left. One left. Oh, yeah, yeah. What time are we on? Um, like 40 minutes. Um, I'll, I'll call it an episode when you decide to move on. Um, anybody else healing? Lyra didn't get touched. No. Because she was busy pissing herself. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
still on that. That was a really good episode. I enjoyed it. And Snowbia. Okay, so you guys just want to move on? Yeah. Yeah, do you want to continue on an obvious direction back? Yeah, we'll get to the to the river. Can you do a nature craft check for me? Yeah. I have, uh, what have we got? Nature craft. 20. Okay. Um, I'll, I'll play. Yeah, he's got a 1. You literally have. <laughs> you've got 20 he nature has 20 craft. nature craft. Fuck my he's ass! He's like an expert na- woodsman. Um, you are absolutely certain that the waterfall cave is just to the northeast. Ah, uh, my lumberjack in it, so okay. Uh, we haven't got far until we reach the cave. Literally, he like reaches down, feels the earth, and then like listens out for the wind and feels like <laughs> slight. Because it's like a mile away, but he like somehow manages to hear like some kind of bird that just lives near water or something. And he's like, it's definitely that. <laughs> Dawson, your nature craft skills are impeccable, my friend. No, thank you. I'm still thank you, you, you dickbag. <laughs> thank you. Though, though you, you must learn patience and respect for all creatures. I respect nothing that tries to kill me first. So most. It is in their nature, yes. my friend. <laughs> okay, so you guys head off to the northeast. And I think that's going to be an episode. Yay! Once again, we apologise for the previous shenanigans. The previous fuck up. This was a bit more of an exciting. Yeah, this one had, no, you, this one you, had you guys, action. You guys kind of got substituted some action for not an awful lot of action and stuff going on. So but basically, is a good trade off. Basically, all it was was the alliance of Bracken and our party. And uh, you didn't find out anything particularly about Darton, did you? No, 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 no really, no. Um, just that it's, uh... Tell me it, about why, why you were in the forest? No. Yeah, you did. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Basically, basically my, 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 uh, my father was a huntsman, like a master huntsman. He was a world, like, famous in Vandus and everyone knew him well, and I was trying to follow in his footsteps. He went off to a quest in the forest, I wasn't exactly sure why. Uh, tracked him to a, a camp of beastmen where the uh, Gideon and Lyra found me encaged, and I just assumed, that, since I hadn't found his body, that he'd been consumed and ate by this cyclops. I did find his bow and I've got my father's bow and that's oh, it wasn't really good. Uh, so, so for them saving me I know all them a blood debt and that's why I've joined the party. <laughs> yeah, so he, he goes into the forest looking for his dad that like a few days before was like, I'm going off into the forest and he didn't say why. And he's like, That's really weird. We know nobody goes into the forest with the towers there. And then he like he doesn't come back for a few days, so he goes tracks to where he is, because he's like an expert fucking nature crafter. So he actually <laughs> tracks his dad to this like basement <clears throat> camp and gets captured. Um you know the rest because you, you're the guys that saved him. Um, when he goes into the tent, he finds his father's stuff, like um, the bow he has, his dad's, the ring of the cheetah that he's, he's carrying, but yeah. also his dad's. So he realizes that his dad's been eaten, basically, by the cyclops. He assumes he's been eaten. He assumes he's been eaten. You should never assume, because it makes it so, so um, mean. Yeah, you've got yeah. facts. Seeing as, you guys saved, seeing facts. as you guys saved him, and his quest was to find his dad, and his dad's gone or been dead. He's decided to tag along with you guys for a while. Hey! So, welcome to the team! Yeah! And that's all you need to know for now. For now. So, okay, guys! Till so, next time! Till next time, thank you very much for listening, and we'll see you guys in the next Edge of the Wolf Time, does D&D. Yeah, yeah. Bye. Goodbye, friends!